What's the word, ladies and gentlemen? This is Andrew, and a lot of you guys asked for my stats. Um, just kind of first and foremost, I don't really pay attention to my stats in Dirty Bomb that much. I feel like, um, I don't know, just kind of a game I decided not to care uh, about regarding stats. So, and honestly, these stats, I, I feel like they're not very indicative of how I am as a player in general. Uh, I'll give you guys an example, actually. Uh, with the M41, it's at 33% uh, accuracy, but I feel like that number should be higher because um, uh, if you take a look at my Timic 47, uh, I I don't ever really use this weapon. I haven't really started. Uh, I haven't really used this weapon until recently, uh, and that went from a 32 to a 34.2, and it's still going up. So I feel like. Um, I don't know, I just feel like my accuracy uh, with my M41 is probably high in real life, but just because I've been using it so much, uh, especially when I first started, um, it's sort of balancing out at around 33.3. Honestly, I think anything above 30-ish, 33-ish would be is pretty good. Uh, I know some people are crazy and they get like 40% accuracy, which is amazing, but um, I guess I just don't care enough about my stats or improving that much to improve on my uh, my numbers here. Alright, so overall accuracy, this is actually going up. It was originally 35.0 or 35.3 or something. It's going up to almost 36 now, which is interesting. Um, this number is, the, the overall accuracy number, I feel like it's a little misleading because uh, certain weapons, like, um, I'll give you guys an example, certain weapons like the bolt action, um, I, I'm a terrible, terrible sniper. And my MOA sniper rifle accuracy is 47.5, which is, uh, you know, a little low for a bolt action, but you can see how that number would skew like the average, uh, given how uh, high uh, high this is compared to compared to something like a more a an automatic weapon like the M4. Now obviously, yes, I only have 568 kills with the MOA, but you can kind of conceivably see how if someone mains a sniper, their accuracy number would be higher. Um, let's see here. Let's let's sort this by um, kills, I guess. So most used weapon is the M41, which I am not using as much these days, just because I'm kind of bored of that weapon. Next is the Crossney, same kind of story. I don't really use it that much. Uh, Timic is kind of going up in there just because I'm enjoying the Timic a lot. Uh, performs uh, similarly in DPS to the M41, maybe a little bit more, but it's just got more character. It's just more fun. Uh, these days, I don't really care too much about practicality, just, I I don't know, the Timic is just more fun for me. Uh, Blitzlock, that's surprising actually, Blitzlock is number 4, but I guess that makes sense because I play Fletcher uh, quite a bit. Let's see here, so that's 35%. Uh, the Hawk Fear, uh, almost 35, 34.7. Keck 10, uh, you know, it's all around the 35-ish range, as you guys can kind of see here. Uh, Stark AR... Uh, yeah. The MK46 is, is a number I'm actually pretty proud of. Uh, people always say it's a really inaccurate weapon, but I would like to say that it's probably my uh, one of my more accurate weapons at 36.5. Uh, the K121, which I never use anymore. Good god, I don't even know the last time I used a K121 LMG. That was 32.9. So you guys can kind of see, like, my improvement. I mean, this, this weapon, I don't know when the last time I used the K121. It's got to be, like many 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 months ago probably like july uh so you can kind of see a small improvement in my aim um from a 32.9 to a 36.5 you know the mk46 is definitely a weapon i use uh more often concurrently the k121 is sort of like a blast from the past snapshot so a three percent increase not too bad um the burst rifles uh interesting story about these is actually that the stark was 36.7 br16 was actually around the 34 35 for a while but um i've been really practicing with it as you can uh, as you guys can see the kills uh number is kind of matching up closer uh so that accuracy on the br16 once i kind of understood how the weapon handled uh, is kind of moving up a little bit more the Stark AR was a bit more intuitive for me. Uh, I think it's because the uh, bursts, like the shots in the burst, the three round burst was actually a lot quicker, so it was a bit easier. I could treat it more like a semi-auto. Um, whereas the BR-16, you kind of had to track a bit more uh, because the rounds shot out a little bit slower, so you kind of had to uh, treat it like an automatic weapon, uh, which is something I was not used to, so I missed a lot of shots in the beginning. Yeah, there's the rest of my weapons. Now the kill per minute, I'm really bad at killing things per minute. I know a lot of people have much better kills per minute than I do. Um, how do I... 
how do I do this? There you go. Do I hover over it? Does not tell you the actual kill per minute. Huh. That's so interesting. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Uh, but it looks like my highest kill per minute is the MK46, then the Stark, then the BR-16. Which makes sense. Um, the Stark and the BR-16, I net a shit ton of kills with them all the time. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why I get a lot of kills with the MK46. Maybe it's because of the giant magazine and I'm pretty accurate with it so I don't have to spend so much time reloading and kind of hiding behind cover. I can just kind of go like one giant flank and just take them all down really quickly. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure the reasoning behind that one. Merc wise, Merc wise. Most played, Skyhammer. Second most played, Fletcher. Then Fragger, then Phantom, then Thunder. Yeah, Sawbones, Nader. Let's see, Stoker's surprising. I thought it would have more hours on Stoker, but apparently not. Let's see, my least played is Rhino. And then Kira, though I'm enjoying Kira a bit more, I've been kind of forcing myself to use her and kind of trying to learn how to use that laser, so that's going to go up a bit more. Sparks, yeah, it's pretty reasonable, I mean, I, I'm actually surprised this still is so high up, that's kind of weird. I don't know, hmm. I wonder if it just counts how long they're in your squad or how long you actually played them, played them. I would be curious as to how they measure this. Um, let's see, oh, here we go. Uh, EXP per minute and then kills per minute. Yeah, my kills per minute is really low. I mean 1.3. I know people who have like at least two. Um, let's see what Thunder was. Yeah, 1.7. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty low. I don't know why. I mean, some people are really good at killing things. Uh, maybe I'm more of a defensive player, uh, so I don't get that many kills per minute anyways. So yeah, 1.7 seems to be my cap out between Phoenix, Thunder, Fragger. Yeah, 1.4. So, you know, like, I don't really take stats that seriously in Dirty Bomb. Um, what is my win-loss ratio, I wonder? My win-loss ratio is probably really shit, uh, just because uh, they used to have it on here, I thought. My, my win-loss ratio is, is really bad, just because I swap teams a lot. You know, people leave, and people rejoin, and I join in late sometimes. So, I feel like that stat is probably, like, the most useless stat. If you guys were that worried about your own win-loss ratio, uh, but here's my ranked thing. Uh, I'm only a gold two. I, it's a pain in the ass to play competitive. I know a lot of you guys asked for competitive, but I kid you not. I tried. Like, look, guys. I tried sitting down this morning. I waited like 15 minutes in the queue. I was like, "Fuck this." <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of overview of the stats. Again, don't take them too seriously, uh, especially with your own stats. I mean. I, I I certainly don't. I wish they had like a um like a th a way to like track stats per each game, so you kind of see like your improvement. Because this is sort of vague, right? If I played a match with the M4A1, I can't actually tell if I'm improving or not. Because this number is going to be so huge. I mean, I mean, almost six thousand kills. If, even if I get like sixty six percent accuracy, in my M4A1, I wouldn't really be able to tell because uh you know I that thirty three point three is not not going to budge too much. So, I know Planetside 2 had a thing uh, that was made by the fans called Recursion uh, that would actually track uh, your kills and um, as well as your, uh, your KDR for that match or however long you have Recursion on and then headshot ratio, all those cool little stats, which I, I was, you know, I felt pretty, uh, was a pretty useful tool as far as kind of figuring out how to improve, you know, where you're at uh, number wise. But I don't know, Dirty Bomb stats, I just don't pay too much attention to them. Uh, but I don't know, I guess to each their own. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little short snippet. And let me know what you guys think. I'll be posting another video very shortly. Alrighty.